Okay, so this recording is going to be on how to do a basic histogram in R. So let's start by creating some data. So as we said before, you can do a new script. So file, new R script. So first thing I'm going to create some nice data. So let's create some normal data. So remember, we're going to use the R norm command. So that's R norm. So this is R for a random and norm for normal data. And we say how many points we want. So let's go for a thousand. And we'll have a mean. So I can say mean of five and a standard deviation is SD of four. Now if I run that, it's just gonna show it me in the console, but not show anything else. So I'm actually gonna save that somewhere and I will just call it X. And remember when I want to save it, I use the assign sign, which we've gone before, it's less than and minus. So this basically says do some random normal data. We're going to choose a thousand points. They're going to have a mean of five, the standard deviation of four, and we're going to put it in X. So now I will save that file. So I will save that on my desktop. And I will just call it test.r. So as I said before, once you've got your, your thing saved, the reason we save in script files is we can reuse it again and again. Now, there's a couple of ways we could run that. One, we could go up here and press the run command. And you see that's taken that command and pushed over to the console and done it. And to check you've done it, if you go down to the workspace here, you can see there's X. It says it's a numeric vector and there's a thousand of them. The other thing I do is I use a shortcut key. And I've said before, if you ever want the shortcut keys, if you go to help and look in keyboard shortcuts, it will show you all the shortcuts. I hope it will. It seems to have disappeared. Yes. So there's all the shortcuts. I'm using a Mac, so I use that system. So let's go back. So I go command return and it runs it. And let's just check that's done what we want. If we go X, there's all our data. So now I've got all this normal data. Let's have a look at it. So let's do a histogram of it. So the command is hist. And then we have to tell it what to do the hist of. So it's just X. So again, if I run that command, what it does is it produces a plot. So now we've got the plot. As I said last time in the previous one, we can actually export that. So I can click on export and save plot as a PDF. And you can do that if you want to do your reports for your assignment. You can also copy the plot to the clipboard. So let's actually show how I get this plot into Word. So I can go copy plot into the clipboard. So that's the one I want. I can have a look. The width and height looks good. Update, all fine. Click copy. And now if I go into Word, and open Word, just wait a while. Let's just create a blank document, no problem. Now, if I want to put this in, I can just go edit, paste. And there you can see, we've got the same picture now in our Word and we could use that in our report. Always a good idea to perhaps put a caption. So if we went insert caption, and we can call this histogram. Click OK. Now, as you see in the annotation for the assignment, putting captions is very important. It's one of my key things that I like to see. And also later it means you can refer to this by using cross-reference. So now we could save this, so file, save. Again, we'll put it on the desktop and we'll call it something like assignment one, Hit save. Okay, so to recap, here's our reduce our data. If we want to do the histogram, we go hist x, and we do that, it produces the plot, and then we can use these menus to save the plot in Word. Okay, bye for now.